Whale sharks dive down to deep waters only once a day. I can't wait to find out what it does down there. <laughs> He's going down, Captain. Then so are we. Shellington, what are those things? They're krill, Peso. That must be what the whale shark comes down here for. The krill? Yes, they're tiny little shrimp that the whale shark eats. Let's take a closer look. Aye, we'll have to. They're mighty small. We'll use the octogoggles, Quasi. They'll make those tiny krill look big. Activate octogoggles. Flappity flippers. Hmm, fascinating. Wow, amazing. Hey, there's something glowing over there. What is that? Flappity flippers! A giant shark! Hmm? Are you talking to me? Wait a minute. My octo goggles. Hey, you're not a gigantic shark. You're tiny. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. But even though I am small and I glow, I'm uh, still a shark, okay? Uh, Oh. Oh. What's wrong? This thing is stuck to my back and I can't get it off. It makes it hard to uh, swim. Don't worry. You've just got a sticky shell stuck to your back. I can help you. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Heads up, Peso. Whale shark coming through. Little shark, where are you? I've got to help him, but first I've got to find him. Captain Barnacles, I just met a tiny little shark and he had a shell on his back whoa, and... Whoa, 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 slow down there, matey. What did you see, Peso? A shark, a teeny tiny glowing shark. He was hurt and he needed help, but the waves from the big whale shark knocked him way down deep and I don't know where he is. Well then, we'd better find him. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, there's a shark out there who needs our help. Peso, what did the shark look like? Well, he's tiny, about as big as my flipper. I've never heard of a shark that small. Well, sharks do come in all different sizes. Indeed, there are huge whale sharks like the one you follow today, and also much smaller sharks. Yeah. Hmm. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if it was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on, we've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacles out. Yeah. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! It looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful. It's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Huh? Mm, just a glowing jellyfish. 
Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso. Quasi. Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark while you look for the octonauts. Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi? No, just lots of glowing fish and no little shark either. Peso, Quasi, come in. Their radios must not be working. I hope they're not lost. We'd better... Oh. What is that? Wait for me, Captain! <gasps> A tiny shark! Oh, thank goodness you saw my flashy. I'm glad it helped you find me. We lantern sharks use our lights to find each other. Fascinating! Well, I've never seen a shark as small as you. <laughs> Everybody says that. Oh, this shell on my back is really bogging me. We can help with that. Well, not me, but our medic. He's called Peso. Peso? He's my pal. Where is he? Well, uh, I'm afraid he's out there. Somewhere. We've got to find him. I can see pretty well in the dark, so I can help look for him. Oh, it's getting hard for me to swim with this shell. Don't worry. I can carry you. Okay. See anything? <sighs> Look. Something's flashing. Hello. Over here. This way, matey. <sighs> they can't see us. If only we had a flashing light. That's it. We do. Huh? Now that's what I call a bright idea. Oh, I hope they see us. Hmm? Hi, it's working. Hey, Sue, Quasi, is that you? You found us. Hola, Peso. And you found the little shark. Well, shiver me whiskers. It is a tiny shark. Let's get you fixed up. What kind of tiny creature are you anyway, matey? I am a dwarf lantern shark, and I know I'm little, but I am still a shark. <laughs> oh. There. Good as new. <sighs> Thanks, Peso. I sure am glad we found each other. How about a picture? Take good care of yourself. It's a big ocean out there. Will do. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye, me hearty. It's called a dwarf lantern shark. Of course. It wasn't in any of my old books because you're one of the first explorers to find one. This is the smallest shark in the world. A dwarf ah. lantern shark. Well, it just goes to show you, sharks come in all different shapes and sizes. Just like octonauts do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, 
the dreaded fang teeth snapper started heading straight for me, snapping its terrible teeth. Snap, snap, snap. Yow! Isn't that right, Captain? Captain? Quasi, hey, sir, come and take a look at this. What are those things? Dumping jellyfish. They're a big problem. Each one is a seed from a red mangrove tree. The seeds fall from the trees and take root in the seabed along the coast. So, what's the big problem, matey? These seeds have drifted too far out to sea. They can't grow in water this deep. And if they don't grow, they won't become part of the mangrove forest, which helps protect the coastline. In that case, we'd better do something. Don't worry, Captain. I've got this one covered. I'll just gather up the seeds and replant them. Hmm. Sounds like a big job. You might need some help. Shiny! Attention, Vegemals. Please meet Shellington in the launch bay. And bring your gardening tools. Shiny! All right, Tunic, let's gather up these mangrove seeds. Activate the gut vacuum. Ah, that's more like it. All right, Captain. We're off to the mangrove forest to plant these seeds. Super, super. Good luck, Shellington. Let us know if you need any help. Don't worry, Captain. We'll have this done in a jiffy. Wow. That's shiny. <laughs> the water's getting too shallow for the gup. We'll have to swim from here. <laughs> All right, vegetables, take a seed, make a hole, and push the tip into the ground. There you go. Easy, isn't it? Now let's plant some more. Come in, Shellington. How's the planting going? Oh, we're making good progress, Captain. As I said, we've got this completely under control. Right, Junip? Junip? Uh, Captain, I think we may have a wee bit of a problem. What is it, Shellington? The Vegemals. They've disappeared. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Emergency. The Vegemals have gone missing. Oh, oh my! Whiskers. They must have gone into the mangrove forest. But why? I don't know, but we're going to help you find them. Quasi, Peso, to the Gup Sea. Tweet, open the Octo Hatch. You got it, Cap. Captain, the Vegemals must have gone in here. And look what they left behind. What creature makes a bite like this? Yeah, looks like the bite of a fine tooth snapper. Whatever it is, we'd better be careful. like all the Vegemals are safe and sound. But what were they doing hiding in here? <laughs> they were attacked by something fast moving with big sharp teeth. What the door? I knew it! Fine tooth snapper, show yourself! Whoa, easy, Quasi. Everyone, 
Wait here while I take a look around. Hmm. It looks like the coast is clear. Oh, good. Because we still have a few more mangrove seeds to plant. <laughs> Come on, Vegemals. What? Shiny! <laughs> Whoa! Barracudas! Everyone, back into the mangrove forest. Those barracudas came out of nowhere. Of course! Barracudas really like shiny things, like the Vegemals' tools. They must think they're food. <coughs> Don't worry, Tunip. They shouldn't follow us in here. Barracudas like to stay in deeper water. Can we just wait for them to go away? No. Barracudas are very patient. They can wait a long, long time for their food. Attention, Barracudas! Hello? What is it? Please, stop attacking us so we can plant our mangrove seeds. We'd like to, believe me, but those shiny things just look so delicious. Yes, we go crazy when we see them. We can't help it. OK, but this is just a gardening tool. It's not food. Shiny things! Ah. Oh. They're just too hungry to listen. We'll have to distract the barracudas while the Vegemals finish the planting. Everyone in position. Oh, I got it. Good. Vegemals, start planting on my count. One, two, three. <laughs> Shiny. Quasi, go. Right, they go. <laughs> Can't see them now, can ya? That's your cue, Peso. Hey, look at this. Shiny, this way. Shiny! You're up next, Shellington. Hey! Up Shiny. here! Hey, Barracudas! Over here! Shiny! Shiny. That's it. We just have to keep them busy until the vegetables are finished planting. Captain, uh, I can't keep this up much longer. Super! Super! <sighs> no! Shiny! Vegemals, look out! <laughs> oh, I didn't think the barracudas would follow the Vegemals into the mangrove forest. They must be really hungry. Captain, how are we going to get them and their tools back to the GARP? Yeah. As soon as they get back in the water, the barracudas will attack them. Huh. Then we'll need to find some way to keep the Vegemals above water. Captain, mangrove trees prop themselves up above the water using special roots. Stilt roots. Stilt roots. Hmm. Hang on, Vegemals. We're coming for you. Ready now. Take it nice and easy. Oh, oh. Whoops. Whoa. You can do it, Peso. <laughs> Shit, whiskers. That was a close call. This way, everyone. Oh, whoa! Uh, gotcha. <laughs> now, let's get out of here. Just think, one day all those seeds we planted will grow into new mangrove trees. Shiny! <gasps> the barracudas! They followed us home! Don't worry, Tunip has this one covered. I'm loving these sparkly seaweed sprinkles you got, Tunip. Now load them into the snack shooter. Oh. So long, barracudas! Enjoy the fish biscuits! Shiny! Wow, 
I've never seen a moon like this. Tis known as a pirate's moon and happens but once every 100 years. Shiver me whiskers, the flying swords! Flying swords? Aye, according to legend, tis only on the night of the rare pirate moon when cold ocean waters turn warm that ye may be lucky enough to see the flying swords. They're a sign, me hearties, that you are near a sunken pirate ship where X marks the spot of the greatest treasure ye could ever hope to find. The Sword of the Pirate King! But any pirate who hopes to take it as his own must be brave indeed, because the Sword of the Pirate King is guarded by three magical flying swords. Me granddad always wanted to find that treasure. Alas, he never had the chance. But now I do! Arr, are we going to look for the Pirate King's sword, matey? Not we, Peso. Tis a mission I need to go on alone. For the honor of me granddad, Calico Jack. I understand. Good luck, Quasi. We'll follow your progress from the octopod. <laughs> a sunken ship. This could be it. Well done, Quasi. Keep us posted. I'm going after that sword, me hearties. Oh, these freezing waters are shivering me whiskers. Oh, what a glorious ship. The Pirate King! The sword is as good as mine. Strange. The water just got warmer. This is definitely it. Quasi, come in, Quasi. We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the guppe with me. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Got it, Cap. Quasi to Octopod. Come in, me hearties. Ah, oh, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. <laughs> okay, now. Where's that X that marks the spot? <gasps> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Oh, oh, the last one. Stand aside, you scurvy sword. Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi! <gasps> it's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead! One that could only have come off a pirate ship! But then, where's Quasi? Ha <laughs> ha! How ran it! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Yeah. Oh, 
Of course I'm a swordfish. What did you think I was? A magic flying sword? <laughs> the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you. The light of the pirate moon made it look like it. Do I care what it looked like? No! What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone! Ha! I don't want your food, matey! I want the sword of the Pirate King! And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates! And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast, slashing at our food, and defending ourselves. Ha -ha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. Just regular swordfish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now let's get you out of there. Oh, 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 oh. Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Sword is bruised. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thank you, my friend. And thank you for saving our fellow fish's life. It was nothing. You're as brave as a swordfish, and not bad with a sword either. Anything we can do in return, you just let us know. Ah, all I want is what I came here for. The sword of the Pirate King. Huh? You must have seen it. It's here somewhere. X marks the spot. What is an X? What is a mark? What is a spot? You swordfish aren't the magical guardians the legend told of. So maybe there's no sword of the Pirate King either. Come on, Quasi. Don't give up now. Hold on. X marks the spot. Mateys, I'm gonna need your help. The sword of the Pirate King! Wow! If only me granddad could be here to see him! I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Mateys! 
Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.